This is a great story. April marks Autism Awareness Month. One local business owner and pet food company are teaming up to help a young adult diagnosed with autism and his new service dog. We're joined tonight by Clyde's Feed and Animal Center owner, Jim Melspog, David Lepsch from Cheska Canine Services, Michael Amillion here, and then Kimberly LaRussa over there, and Bello, the star of the show here, the sweetest. We can't see Bello right now, but she'll pop herself back up. Um, so these two business owners, uh, two businesses. Kimberly, why don't you just explain what they're doing? Sure. So um, Jim of Clyde's Feed reached out to me and said we are helping this young adult. Um, he needs a service dog and we are going to help provide food for that dog. And then um, he linked up with Mike about training for the dog and Dave. And so everybody's working together to uh, help um, Mike's son uh, get a service dog and have it trained. It takes a lot of work. This is amazing. So Mike, your son, tell me about him and tell me about Bello here, his service dog. Well, my son, uh, Mike, or I'm sorry, Lucas is 21. He has autism, he's nonverbal. And when he was around four, he started bolting, uh, eloping, uh, pretty much anywhere. Take him to the store, he'd run. He'd mm. run out of the house. So we had to get special locks and bars in the windows and, and all that. And eventually he came to the point where he was too big to, to manage. Uh, you know, safe, safely uh, anywhere outside of the house. So we met up with the uh, Autism Anchory Dogs is, is uh, what it was called. And they provided us with a, a Newfoundland who's been a blessing mm. uh, for my son. It en enabled him to, to leave the house, to go shopping with us, uh, to, to go to McDonald's, which is stuff he, he wasn't able to do for like four years. Wow. Mm. So. Just uh, to clarify what he was talking about, anchoring dog, this dog here will, if your son tries to bolt, tries mm -hmm. to run, this dog will anchor herself down so that your son kind of has to stay put. That's mm -hmm. correct. It's an incredible thing. And Bello, Bello's <laughs> size here shows, you know, this, this, this can actually work. She still has a lot of growing to go, so. Yeah, wow. Gentlemen, will you tell me why you decided to help here? I guess, I guess I'll chime in on that one. Um, I met Mike through a, a mutual friend of ours uh, who recommended me uh, for training for, for the dog. I've, um, I've been training dogs all my life, for 47 years of my life. Mm. I own a kennel in East Amherst, uh, all different. Most of, the work, most of the work I do is for sport and also police work, okay? Mm. So I've been training dogs for multiple functions, whether detection, using detection, uh, uh, and patrol for, for police work and things. Like that. I'm, I contract out for different police agencies as well. So anyways, that said, uh, Mike and I got together and we discussed the situation and I and I, I I was what what Mike needs is quite honestly simple obedience he needs an overly obedient dog to stay geared literally glued to, to his son's side and we're gonna try to invoke hand commands with as Mike said he's nonverbal so the dog can understand a, you know a simple a simple hand gesture Okay, because they, they get smart. And, and, yeah. and a dog that's doing a, an exercise like that actually is going to be boring for their dog a while. So we gotta have, it's got to be fun. Mike and I will do other things with the dog off to, keep, to keep the dog having fun in, in the exercise. But the more the individual, his son, yeah. is connected with the dog, you'd be surprised how much comes out, especially if they're part of the training process. The things that come out uh, you know, from the heart you know, and, and the connection is just unbelievable. You see a lot of really remarkable things come out. And then Clyde's is offering food. Sure. Uh, what I want to talk about is the company that we're using. So Nutrisource is a great family-owned company in Minnesota, and they make a various number of different products. Well, because they're family-owned, they, they work very closely with us, and they reached out. Uh, well, actually, Dave reached out, and we worked together to get this dog sponsored for free. Mm -hmm. wow. And they have a bunch of other products that, like I've got this Finley Streets that he's currently eating. Mm -hmm. The company makes these, and the purchase of this goes to kids with autism, too. They, they actually mm -hmm. work very closely. It's right on the package. Uh, we do sell these, so we're really proud to work with a company that wants to support us, not only through purchase of the product, but direct giving that product to the to the consumer. I think it's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, we don't have a lot of time here, but will you mm -hmm. tell, for people who don't know where Clyde's is, will you just explain where you guys are yeah, located? We're in, we're in Hamburg, New York, on 351 Union Street. We're also in Lockport. Great. So we have a north and south location. All right, great. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming Thank here. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for bringing Bella. She, or Bella. <laughs> she is a sweetheart. Um, and we'll post more of this information online as well, wivb.com.